never see her again. I give you my word, believe me. Vanderbilt researchers say that's what happens to children with autism. Sight and sound are separated. We're very excited about it. I think this is truly transformative in many ways. So what's going to happen is you're going to see a woman. In their study published in the Journal of Neuroscience, researchers compared typically developing children with high-functioning children with autism. The children, 6 to 18, worked through tasks from simple flashes and beeps to more complex stimuli like a hammer hitting a nail. Ba. Their job, to push buttons identifying if the sight and sound happened at the same time. Ba. There is a window of time within which if a sight and a sound happens, the brain is very smart and what it says is, ah, those two things happen so close together in time that they must belong together. So the brain knits that information together. What we believe is that in children with autism, that window of time is longer. So now what happens is their perceptual world is very confusing because they don't know which pieces of the visual world should be bound with which pieces of the auditory world. The processing difficulty cascades into more problems, but Wallace says the brain can be retrained. Bah. The brain is an enormously plastic machine. The hopeful message from this is that if we can intervene and change sensory function early, some of these um, more profound deficits that we see in areas like language and in areas like social interactions may actually be improved by that early intervention. Have you seen a child with autism experience a life-changing event? Mike Garson has. What kind of note is there when you play the paddle? They usually write P-E-D on the bottom. I haven't taught you this one yet. Ah. Okay. It's coming up in piano? It's coming up in what she does at home. He has autism. He did not recognize people for years. We took pictures of him and he was so far gone that no one was in the picture. Now he's bright and he loves talking to people. He was like five years ago so anxious and nervous and I put him on my lap like today and I played the piano I literally felt him melt into my lap the music heals project please join us on this journey one note at a time